Today I'm going to make a new air cleaner for my 240Z. It's got these triple Weber carburetors on it. Right now it's got these little K&N air cleaners, air filters. They work pretty good. But what I'd like to do is build a fresh air box that kind of covers all three carburetors with an air intake at the front. And if I can, I'm gonna try and get a single filter placed in front of the radiator so get more cold air in here. So the first thing is to build this box though. I'm just gonna make it out of some sheet metal. I've got this piece of construction board here cut to the size of the base that I want because the first thing I'm going to do is make a base that will bolt on here and then I'm going to make a cover that will attach to it. So I'm just going to kind of center it end to end with the eyeball, be close enough, kind of split the difference. And then I'm going to line it up with this parting line on the carburetor right here. It's pretty good right there. Put a little pressure on it and just try and hit the studs. Okay, I've got my holes in here. That fits pretty good. Now I'm going to tap this around here. Okay, now I've got to cut these holes out here. Okay, now I need to cut these three little holes. Now I need to transfer my template to a piece of sheet metal. This is some 50 thousandths thick stuff here, so be pretty rigid, pretty stiff. That's going to be a bin line. I'll show you later what I'm doing, how I'm going to do this. So these are going to be cut lines here. And this is a cut line across the top here. Okay, the moment of truth. I got all the holes deburred. So now we'll see if it'll fit on here. Let's see, that's the right way. Well, let's see. It went down on there, but it looks like I got two, two holes. This one and this one that could be maybe opened up to the next larger size. Okay, let's try it again. I went ahead and drilled all the holes out to the next larger drill size. So then we'll have any problem. Oh yeah, that fits good. All right, all these holes line up nice. Those holes line up pretty nice. I now I'm going to make sure I get this right. All right. I'm going to put a bend right here. I mentioned that a while ago. And uh, that's going to be how I'm going to mount the bottom half of the outer piece. Okay, I'm down on the floor now, because what I want to do, that's as far as I could bend that with my uh, sheet metal brake, but I want to get this hammered on down 
to where I just have a little thin slot in there that I can slide my mating part into. So I'm going to take this piece. Slide it in there. Okay, back up here now. That's good. So now I need to determine what shape I want the cover that's going to go on here. I've just been up this little piece of cardboard. So what I was thinking, something sort of like that to install it. This little flange will be bent on there, so that'll just slide in there, and then, and then this will come over the top here. Just to be safe, I'm doing a little checking here with the, where the motor is, and it looks like I'm going to need to trim a little bit of the back of my plate off here to clear this bolt down here on the master cylinder. I think if I take about an inch off of the back here, that'll give me plenty of clearance, so I'm glad I'm making this check. And the other thing I want to make sure is, as this sticks forward here, that it's not going to interfere with the hood going across here. That all looks fine. Okay, I've got a piece cut out here. It's the width of my uh, piece that I'm going to put in there, right here. Got the length measured off. Okay, let's see what we got. Not bad. I think that'll be all right. I've still got to trim this lower plate off a little bit on each end. What I think I'll do now though is make my end caps and that'll kind of Keep this spread out there. Okay, I just whipped up this little piece. This is the front side, so it'll go in here. Just like this. And I'm going to Pop rivet around here. I've got to cut a hole in here first though because this is going to be uh, fresh air intake side of it. Now I'm going to go make a similar cover for the back side. And here's the back piece all riveted in. So now I can move to the front, get that one done. 
What I'm making now is the inlet tube for that system. And I've got an inch and three quarters long piece of three and a half inch diameter tubing. I want to make little cuts all the way around here, cut them, and then I'll just bend them back with the pliers. That'll come through from the backside and I'll pop rivet that in. Okay, I'm ready to put these two pieces together now. I've got some uh, seam sealer here. I'm going to put a bead right around the base of this. And I'm not using pop rivets because I can't get my pop rivet gun down in these sides. So I drilled and tapped the flange here. I've got some little Allen head screws I'm gonna stick right in here. I just riveted on just like I did on the other end. Now what I'm going to do is come inside here and put some seam sealer on those joints. Okay, it's pretty much done now. I just need to uh, come up with something to permanently attach it. That'll be kind of easy to take off. What I think I'm going to do, I've got these little Zeus fasteners. Got these little plates and I've actually already bent some like this and drilled some holes in them here. I'm going to attach them right down along the base here and then these little springs will attach to the back side with some pop rivets and then I'll have holes in here and these little Zeus fasteners, uh, quarter, ten, quarter turn buttons, whatever you want to call them, they'll push through there, engage with this spring, you rotate them a quarter turn and it locks them in place. All right, I've got all these pop riveted on there. Now I've got to transfer these holes to the cover. Okay, I got my holes in here and surprisingly, they all line up. So got lucky on that one. Now I got to pull this off of here and put my little spring wires on the back of these tabs. They've got different lengths of these springs, or different heights, I should say. And then also you have different lengths of these Zeus buttons. So I think this is what I need. So I'll just put one in to start with, and then I'll make sure it's gonna work before I pull them all in there. All right, that's just perfect. And here it is with some paint on it. <laughs> 